what roles have you been playing so far? Are you, are you playing both safety and, and corner right now? And kind of describe your role. Uh, right now, I've just been at free safety. Uh, that's why I'm most likely going to be on the field this year, I feel like. What sort of, what sort of skills translate from safety to corner and vice versa? Uh, like all the technique is really the same, you know, uh, being able to play corner and safety, like everybody had the same responsibilities. Like we all do the same thing as far as uh, covering in the slot, the corner, same technique. So it, it's not that much of a difference, you know, uh, everything's really the same. After, uh, you know, after having a couple of years of starting experience, I mean, what's maybe been your attitude coming into this season, you know, trying to, to elevate your play this year? Uh, I just want to be there for my teammates, for my coaches, you know. I want to uh, be able to turn this team around, like with my brothers, that I go out there to practice with each and every day, you know. Uh, I feel like it's our time to shine, you know, turn this program around, uh, show the people what they want. So I feel like us coming together, uh, the skills and the techniques and all the stuff that we have, uh, I feel like it's going to be good. Been like to, to get to work with Coach Butler, and how has this transition worked for you guys, the older guys especially? Uh, the transition has been good. You know, as soon as he came, man, we all talked with him. You know, we felt out how he was as a coach. You know, coming from an NFL, I feel like that was good for us. You know, he know all, he know what it takes for us to be able to get to the next level. Uh, all the years that he has, uh, like he knows football. So I feel like that was a good transition from us uh, to be able to get him in and be able to be our coach. Yeah, it feels good to have the son back. You know, he set out a whole year, you know, seeing him get out there and uh, showing what he can do, making plays, you know. I feel like he's going to be a, a big guy for us. Uh, having him back, that was a big key and what we needed, you know. It's boundary safety. He's big, fast, can make plays on the ball. So I feel like having him back, that's a good thing. Your teammates say you're just always on top of things and not just football, but you do things the right way. Uh, where does that come from? from you in your background, where did you get that thing? Uh, my family back home, you know, they always taught me the right way. So I feel like having them, you know, all the way up to this point, I feel like they helped me having manners and stuff like that. Uh, not being late to anything, just being on top of everything and just being, being a good guy, having a good character. I feel like my family, like they played a big part in that. I feel like Isaac Gifford, like he's a big ball guy, you know. He knows football. He's like one of the coaches to us, you know. If we have questions, we can come to him. So I feel like having him in our room, that's a big piece in us. You know, he's a veteran guy on his team. So having him there with us, uh, being able to ask him questions, I feel like that's big for us, uh, not having just to go to the coach, you know, because most players don't like to go to the coaches. They want a player that they know who has experience, you know, to be able to talk to us. So Isaac Gifford, like he's big for us. Uh, I like to talk to him, like outside of uh, the stadium, ask him questions about football, like he knows the answers to him. Anything else for Malcolm? Marquise mentioned that he felt like your football IQ has grown, and that was the most impressive part of your growth this offseason. I mean, what has gone into that, and, and how have you developed? Uh, you, know, uh, you know, just being around those guys, like from my freshman year, all the way up to now, watching them uh, build off of them and what they set for us. The younger guys uh, and me, I feel like watching them played a big part of what made me who I am today, and wanted to be like them, you know, because they know how they know how and what it takes like to get to the next level. So just following them, listening to them, ever since I came in, that they really helped me. You jumped on the field right away as a freshman. Are there some young guys that have impressed you? How they got right after it too? That just joined the program from the secondary. Yeah, we have a lot of young guys, you know, and they they're all good too. Like they all have the skills, what it takes to be on the field as a freshman as well. Uh, seeing them practice, you know, getting all over the ball, they're making plays everywhere. I feel like it don't matter how young you are, if you can play ball, you can play ball. So I feel like seeing them do that, uh, they're going to have chances to get on the field this year. You guys have so many fifth and sixth year guys on the defensive side, especially why he's supposed so many of those guys decided to come back this year. Uh, you know, just being with Coach Rule and his staff, man, it's amazing, you know. Uh, I wouldn't want, you know, 
like the seniors that couldn't come back, I, I, I wish that they had a winning season. But the guys who came back, I feel like they just want to turn the program around before they leave. So why not come back, uh, change the culture, you know, for this team and honor and this coaching staff that we have. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thank you, Matt.